Good evening and welcome. Starting with our top story this hour, one person has been killed and over 590 people injured in clashes that have erupted in Kyrgyzstan following the results of the recently concluded parliamentary polls. The country's electoral body said that it was cancelling the results of a parliamentary vote that had plunged the Central Asian country into clashes and political chaos. The Central Electoral Commission said in a statement that it had invalidated the election results, which saw parties close to pro-Russian President Cernobay Jimbakov score big wins amid accusations of mass vote-buying campaigns. This comes after protesters launched allegations of vote-rigging in the elections. Opposition groups in Kyrgyzstan had said that they seized power in the country after taking control of government buildings in the capital during the protests. Hundreds clashed with police in Kyrgyzstan's capital city of Bishkek on Monday to demonstrate against the election results. Meanwhile, President Jean Bekov has urged his opponents to stop public protests, saying that he had ordered security forces not to use firearms on protesters. He has also asked the Central Election Committee to investigate any violations during the polls and annul the election results if necessary. Peace in the country and stability in society is more important than any politician's mandate. I suggested that the Central Election Committee thoroughly investigate any violations during the election process and annul the election results if necessary. I asked that the leaders of the political parties calm their voters and ask them not to take part in gatherings. Early results in the election gave the majority of the votes to two parties with ties to the country's ruling elites amid allegations of vote buying. Only four parties out of 16 passed the 7% threshold for entry into parliament, two of which have close ties to President Jimbakov and the former Soviet Republic. Supporters of parties that failed to win rallied in the central square to denounce the vote as disputed. They marched to the capital and demanded the resignation of the pro-Russian president, Chimbakov. People protesting the results of the parliamentary election broke into the government buildings and security headquarters. Thousands of people forced their way into the nearby National Security Committee building, where former President Almazbek Atambayev was jailed. Now, according to reports, demonstrators released the Kyrgyzstan's former president, who is being held in a remand center over corruption charges. Police used tear gas and water cannons to disperse protesters on Monday. Gunshots and stun grenades were heard as riot police moved into the central square in the capital to tackle the situation. Now some protesters hold rocks at the police during these clashes. The escalating tensions could add Kyrgyzstan to the growing list of Russian allies along with Belarus and Armenia facing political or security crises. Joining us live from Bishkek is Christopher Schwartz, who is a correspondent for OpenDemocracy.net in Kyrgyzstan. Thank you for being with us. Now, the election results have been declared invalid. This is after one person has died and hundreds more have been injured. What is the situation on the ground? Uh, so, the parliament is currently meeting in a hotel in the center of Bishkek because the actual government building has been taken over by the protesters and severely damaged. Uh, and the opposition parties, uh, who were left out in the code by the last election, um, have formed what they call a coordination council, and they have called for the resignation of the government um, and the establishment of a coalition government. Right, Christopher. And the protesters, as you've mentioned, they've been protesting against these uh, original results of the election. They've broken into the government and state security headquarters, and they have freed the former president and a few other former senior officials. Yes, including also uh, uh, former Prime Minister Sapartisakov, who was a young Prime Minister first appointed under Atambayev, and on whom there were many uh, hopes pinned that he would bring about reforms. And then in 2018, 
He was implicated in what are considered to be trumped up corruption charges and uh, has been serving a long sentence in prison. And uh, I was at the Janat Hotel where the Coordination Council was uh, had declared itself. And, and there he was. There was Mr. Isakov. He has been let out of prison. Right. And uh, President Jimbakov has urged his opponents to stop his supporters from causing this unrest. Uh, he says he has ordered the security forces not to use firearms and that they will be investigating the election results. Uh, yes. Well, presumably, if the election results have already been cancelled, they have already been satisfied by the reported violations from Sunday. Social media was uh, ablaze with reports, videos, photographs, um, and just anecdotal evidence of violations of vote buying, intimidation of voters and journalists, and improper interference by the two main political parties who were inappropriately often acting as uh, uh, monitors or observers of the polling stations. Yes, and do we know what uh, to expect now? What is the way forward? Will elections be held? Do we know when? We don't know the way forward. Um, the Coordination Council has called for the resignation of the government um, and the convening of the current parliament. The current parliament is convening, but they are meeting right now behind closed doors. Journalists are not allowed in, so we do not know what is going on. Um, ideally, there would be a new parliamentary election um, but it's unclear what exactly will happen. It's also very unclear what will happen to President Jim Beckhoff himself. All right, Christopher, thank you very much for bringing us the report there and all the latest coming out of Kurdistan.